Welcome back to the Stationary Dev, and today it is time once again for a currently inked video. So today we're going to be looking at my currently inked fountain pens and inks for the month of February 2023. Um, and these might be subject to change, or I mean, in terms of change, I mean, I might have to add some more because I've been writing... A little bit more lately uh, which is a good thing so before we get started I'll go ahead we are in my um, little Taroko notebook staple bound notebook it's got 68 GSM old stock Tamoy River paper and we got currently ink February 2023. All right, and as you already kind of saw, my first pen that I have inked for this month is this, a new pen for me. Um, I've had a M200 before, um, but I gave that one to my wife, and then I saw this one and liked it, and it was on clearance, so I got for a good price and it is the pelican m200 golden barrel um and this one is just a beautiful pen it's got an extra fine nib in it and we'll get that going i usually post this one i don't usually post a lot of pens but this one i like posted it's got an extra fine nib that you can see. Maybe you can't, so let me adjust the light just a little bit. There you go. Come on. There we are. Extra fine, but it's a steel nib from Pelican, which their steel nibs are, are glorious too. So, um, And this one is inked with Jacques Urbain. Vert Elanti. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in just a hair. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just move this a little closer. And we'll get our writing sample going here. So we have the Pelican. Oh, that's an M. M200. We'll just put it as Golden Barrel. And it has an extra fine nib in it. Let me see. Do I include any little squigglies? Yeah. Go on the next line. And it's inked with Jocks Urban Vert Atlantide which is a fantastic ink that I absolutely love. It's one I kind of bought as soon as I saw it coming out. It's a beautiful sort of, I don't know, murky, blue, bluish, greenish, grayish ink. And it's got silver and gold shimmer in it. It's my only shimmer ink. Here's what the bottle looks like beautiful bottles they got kind of like the wax cap and the the wax seal put on there and you can see the shimmer at the bottom there so i'm going to give this a good shake and get that going so we can do our swatch get that cap off and the swatch of this ink always looks always looks good especially on tomorrow river But it's got some good shading, no sheen or anything, but the shade, shading and the, the sparkles in it make this one look just great. And I tend to kind of go for murkier colors in the, in, uh, you know, February, just because I mean, that's when winter kind of really hits here at least. 
Um, but that'll go ahead and dry. But it's a great combo. I've I've enjoyed that combination a lot uh, so far. All right, moving on to our next pen. It is the beautiful Graf von Faber Castell, and this is the classic model, and it's in the ebony wood finish. So this part right here is ebony wood, real ebony wood. And then the rest is just a high polished sort of stainless steel. And this one has been a lovely rider as well. I got it uh, second hand, but it's been great. Second hand was about the only way I would be able to afford this one. That's an ebony. And get a shot of the nib here maybe it's got a beautiful this is a in-house graphon fiber castell gold nib 18 karat gold nib and extra fine and i think their nibs look great two-tone beautiful 18 karat gold and it's extra fine the ink i have in it is one of my tried and trues. It's uh, Iroshizuku. Asa Gao. One of my favorite inks, one of my top, probably top three favorite inks, I'd say it makes the top three. Just because it's so dependable, pops off the page, it's good in any situation. Good in any pen. I've never had a problem with it. And uh, this combo is just classy, elegant. I love it. Of course, we have the wonderful Orochizuku bottle by Pilot. They have a good cap sound here. If you're into that, and we'll get a good. And this one doesn't have any shading or anything. It has a little bit of sheen on the right paper. Um, but just a nice, solid, beautiful, vibrant blue. It sort of scratches my itch for uh, something like a base state blue or something like that. Something that gives you a little color but still really, really usable, readable, and all that. All right, there goes our Oscal. Next up, let me think what I had next. Here we go. Oh, also, I failed to mention why this piece of paper is here. I decided since I've only been doing these on one side of the paper, on the other side of the paper, I would do writing samples because some people like to see writing samples of the pens and ink and I'll do a sort of close-up at the end of the video for these but there you go and these were just uh, copied out of let me see this uh, postal service sort of stamp magazine because um, I do buy stamps and so the postal service has my number now and they send me stamp magazines and so these are just uh, little blurbs about some of the stamps that they have out now. One is about uh, marine marine ecosystems, and another one is, that one's Buzz Lightyear. But you'll see those as I go. I'll try to remember to uh, unveil them. My next pen, it's one I've had for a while, um, but it's just a tried and true, trusty pen, and that is this Waterman Karen, and it is beautiful, sleek, elegant, supremely usable fountain pen with a beautiful 18 karat gold inlaid nib. Let me see if I can get my camera's not wanting to focus today for some reason. There you go. You got that inlaid gold nib, 18 karat with the Waterman fine nib on this one but it's a great one and uh let's move down here i got the e 
Waterman. Curran. Nice and wet. Nim. 18K. And this one's just a fine nib. And the ink I have in this one is another Roshizuku one, one that I ink this time of year a lot. And that is a Roshizuku. Fuyu. Shiogun. And um, the reason why I ink this one a lot is because it's a winter ink. Or it's supposed to be like a winter gray ink at least that's how pilot advertise it but i find it a beautiful calming kind of stormy gray ink of course we get another beautiful roshizuku bottle with your little tassel and nice label and shape and everything and this is just once again another dependable usable ink it's not too light it's readable it does have some good shading to it which maybe you'll see a little bit in the swatch here and we'll put our cap back on and move on to our last one. And here's the writing for Fuyu Hyogun. So you can see it's it's really readable for a, and this is kind of a wet pen, but not, I wouldn't say it's the wettest pen. I think it's a good medium wetness, um, but you can see it's su supremely readable. Um, and that one's about the uh, James Webb, or yeah, is it James Webb? The Webb telescope that they launched into space um, that can take, really really high def pictures of the the uh universe all right and i kind of wanted to pick up some of those stamps so that's on my list as well when i need to re-up stamps and then the last one it's been out of rotation for a while um but we're getting it back into rotation now is my everyday writer um of my Pilot Vanishing Point and the matte blue finish. This is sort of my everyday use pen. You can tell because it's got, uh, you can probably make out, there was one, make out some dents and, and dings in it. You can see the clip is kind of, I mean the, the uh, what is it called? The knock is starting to kind of get some wear on it. But I use this thing all, all the time. I carry it with me wherever I go. So uh, it does it does a good job and it's been out of rotation just because I've given it a break I've tried to use a couple other um, sort of every pins different pins for my everyday use but decided to put this one back in rotation I needed to clean it and get it going again lovely uh, oh, just bumped the camera sorry about it but that uh, 18 karat gold you can see maybe a little bitty nib black nib there so the nibs nib on this one matches the trim and we have the pilot vanishing point and it is 18k and this one is also just a fine although i do want to get one an extra fine and the ink I have in this one is one I'm trying out a sample of. It is Roar and Cleaner Sepia. Which I think is a pretty accurate representation of real sepia, which is made with cuttlefish ink. Um, and it's kind of darker closer to this color you'll see sepias that are like definitely brown or even like yellowy or orangey brown uh, but this is more closer to a actual true sepia color and um, I haven't used this one a whole lot yet but what I have seen of it so far I do like and I just got a, a sample from Van S here. I like getting my samples from Van S. They're four milliliter samples so it gives you plenty of you can try it in a couple different pens 
I can get a good sense of if you like it or not. Um, so, shout out to Van S there. We're doing some good sample sizes. I know like Goulet will only give you like two milliliters, which is still like a, you know, you can try one, one pin, maybe two pins. Um, but just having the four, you can get a real good sense of if you like the ink or not before you decide to invest in a giant, you know, bottle, you know, 50, 60 milliliters of the ink or more sometimes depending on the ink. But so far, like I said, this ink has been great. It's what I'd kind of expect from Aurora and Klingner. They make great inks. Um, so it's kind of what I'd expect from them. And our final writing sample, I can get that paper out of the way. And you can see, once again, super readable. I'd say as far as the color goes, it's kind of in between like a gray and a brown and a black. Or like maybe a dark gray and a brown. Um, it's kind of kind of in there, but it has like that... Like if you mixed or, or diluted some black ink, maybe if it was like Pelican Brilliant Black and then maybe some brown, it might come out to something like this, maybe a little bit darker. But anyway, there's our complete list. We'll go back. I'll do a close up so you can kind of see some of the qualities of everything. There you can see that outstanding shimmer from the Jocks or Ben or Jacques Urban Vert and Lantide. And you can see how it's a little bit lighter over here. You can see, so it'll get some of that shading. You can kind of see a little bit of it in the writing. And maybe some of the sparkle in the writing. It's kind of hard to get it on camera. Asagal, of course, is just a straight up blue, but it's nice and vibrant and looks great, whatever you're doing. It's a good like signing ink, I think. Fuyu Shogun, you got uh, the good shading on it. Just a nice, readable, wintry, bluish gray ink there. Kind of like a gray skies kind of thing. Also, I forgot to show some of the writing samples. So there's the Pelican M200 with Verde and Latine. The Graphon Fabric Estelle, the Asagao. Next up, the Fuyu Shogun and the Waterman Kurin. And sorry if my handwriting isn't up to par. And then lastly, that sepia for more and cleaner and the vanishing point. And it's looking good. I, I really like that in the writing so far. And it's just drying over here in the swatch. You can see the pilot vanishing point, roar and cleaner, sepia. No, um, it's got some shading to it, which is nice. I also like that. I like shading inks. So shading is nice. It's not going to be any sheen or anything. As far as I can tell. Let me take a little closer look. But no. No, no sh uh, sheen or anything. Which is good. I don't really go for sheen. Just because it gets too smeary sometimes for me. The Asagao will have some sheen every once in a while. Um, but I don't think I can get it on camera. But it's just around the edges. There, Maybe you can just see it around the tops and bottom edges of that swatch. But every once in a while, I'll see it come out there. But that sepia is looking good. That's what a what I think a sepia ink should look like. But they don't ask me often. So there we have it. There is our currently inked pens and inks for February 2023. Like I said, I might be adding some extras in as I go. But... Those will, I'll try to include them if they last long enough. I'll try to include them in next month's video. Um, if they don't, I might make like a little interim video. But that's it um, for this video. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you're using currently. What pens and inks do you have going on? What are some of your favorites you got right now? Um, also, make sure if you enjoy the video to like and subscribe. It's a free, easy, quick way. It doesn't cost you anything in time or money. Uh, to do, but it helps out the channel, helps you see new content when it comes out. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you all later.